I don't have a clue what just happened in there. Uh, we're going to find out, right? Hey, don't the ground, man. I'm about to play with you. I'm so I'm sorry, please. I'm so sorry. That was a 12 year old seconds after brutally stabbing her nine year old brother three times and leaving him bloodied. But she isn't even the worst of these five murderous kids who were caught. However, her highly gruesome case starts after police responded to an apartment complex on a stabbing call. Where's your daughter? <laughs> Where's the oh knife at? The mother was in a huge mess as her nine-year-old Xander was stabbed in the chest three times while he was lying in bed, trying to sleep. This was several minutes ago and he was now bleeding out and needed urgent help. And all these were happening because of a 12-year-old. I'm so sorry. I'm so Come here. Sorry. Come here. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what you I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. According to reports, that night, the mother of the children, April Lida, was upstairs in her room when she heard Xander screaming, the worst scream ever. And when she ran down, Xander lay in his blood saying, She stabbed me. She stabbed me. Where's the knife? Right here. You threw it where? I threw it out my window, upstairs. Right not, up not right there. It's the room. It's the other room. It's right behind the apartment. This apartment right here. So where would the knife be on that side? Behind, right behind. Use yeah. The knife. I'm okay. so sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. This is something not a That's it, right, right there. Right there? Yes. Okay. With Xander now fighting for his life, Kaylee's case was very extreme. And while it wasn't as extreme as the next juvenile murderer who shot his own mother and wanted to kill himself, whatever happened today, it can be fixed. No Kaylee seemed to be having psychological problems, and it became even worse when the officers realized that Xander wasn't the only person she wanted to kill. Do you have any cuts on you? I do. Where at? <laughs> Is it just those? Those look old. Are they old? Oh, those. Yeah, those are a little. This one, those are old with like. Do you have this any new? One that's brand new. This was brand That's new from one. today. Yes. It's so the same knife. Yes. Although Kaylee's actions led Xander into a fight for his life, she suffered from ADHD, and according to her mother. The terrible and possibly fatal happenings of the night were a reaction to her medications. I'm so sorry. What's happening with her? I'm so sorry. What's going to happen with her? I need to go to the hospital. I don't know yet. You. Unfortunately for the mother, though, two hours after her arrival at the hospital, Xander succumbed to his fatal injuries. Kaylee was taken to the police station and is now in a juvenile facility receiving treatment after the very chaotic night. But that night is nothing when compared to the 14-year-old who killed his mother, shot her boyfriend five times, and now wanted to kill himself. Whatever happened today, it can be fixed. Don't pull the trigger. Put it down. Adeem, put the screaming teenager was Adeem Barry who was seconds away from sustaining life-threatening injuries. The police arrived after reports that he had killed his mother and shot her boyfriend. So while he held a gun to his head, multiple officers did the same and he was one wrong move away from fatality. My gun is only out because I don't know what you're gonna do. When you get to over here, I'ma have you, listen to me, I'ma have you lay down on the ground and my gun is going in my, my holster, I promise you. If you will walk toward me, Keep your hands up, Hadeem. Keep your hands up. Don't go back towards According to reports, Adeen and his mother's boyfriend, Cruz, were watching TV together when the teen got up and walked into another room, only to return with a gun. It was then he shot Cruz five times before shooting his mother while she wrestled the gun from him. After that, he ran out of the house and into the street where he met the officers. Walk toward me with your hands up. I'm going to walk you through every process. Please don't pick that back up. Please don't. Hey, one one person talking. Please don't pick that back up. 
I got you. I got you, dog. I'm telling you, I got you. The officers had now spent 16 minutes trying to de-escalate with Adeen. And while things were much worse for the next officer who got shot five times... Officer shot! Help! These officers kept their guns aimed at Adeen while silently praying that they wouldn't have to use them. Walk all the way out. All the way. Keep coming. Keep coming to me. Keep down in the grass. Lay 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 down in the grass. Watch. Lay all the way down. My gun is going in its holster. Somebody's got cover. After Adeen was cuffed, the officers went into the home where they found his mother dead and the boyfriend unconscious with gunshot wounds to his hands, shoulder, jaw, and leg. He made a surprising recovery days later and credited being alive to Adeen's mother. It was a dagger because she was so good to me and it and it hurted me even more because it, I felt like she probably got hit because she was trying to save. Adeen faces multiple charges, including murder with a weapon, attempted murder, and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Adeen and the officers left the crime scene unharmed, but the next officer was seconds away from death. Help me! Where's your radio? <laughs> Those were the cries of police officer Angelina Baclini moments after she pulled over a 15-year-old runaway gang member, William Patterson, unaware that it would be her last stop ever. Come on. What? Come on. Come on. Stand right here. 221. 221. I'm sorry, what's your location? Phillips and Hickory. <clears throat> Come on, you gotta stand up. What I do? Come on, turn around. After confirming William's identity, Angelina didn't search him before moving to place him in handcuffs, and this would be the deadliest mistake of her life, as William reached into his waistband and grabbed his gun, shooting once over his shoulders, then five more times before running off. Angelina was hit four times in her arms and legs, and with medical help very far away, she had little time before her wounds became fatal. You all right? Come on, hang with me. Hang with me. Where'd he go? Take your hair first. Stay I don't know okay? where he took off. Where are you shot? Stay with me. Stay with me. Where are you shot? Arms and leg. I got you, babe. I got you. Stay with me, okay? Watch my back, man. I got you. Watch my back. While the officer tried to keep Angelina conscious while waiting for paramedics, other officers went in search of Williams. And when they found him in front of a house, things quickly escalated. The officers arrested and detained William, but that unfortunately didn't help Angelina very much. After being bloodied, she was taken to the hospital, where it was discovered that bullets had penetrated her thigh and femoral artery. She initially spent two weeks in the hospital, but even after nearly five years since the incident, she still suffers from physical and emotional trauma. Anxiety, the panic attacks, the insomnia, the night sweats where I have to, I do change my clothes three times a night. I sweat through my sheets where I have to pull the sheets off just so I can sleep on something dry. Which I've already had multiple procedures to try and save the leg. This is what happens. You get to your maximum recovery level. And then what happens? It ages. It ages faster than normal. Angelina lost her job as an officer after the incident and basically lost her life as well. But so did William Patterson, as he faced 12 charges including injury to law enforcement, attempted aggravated murder, and aggravated malicious wounding. He was originally sentenced to 160 years behind bars, but 54 of those years were suspended, and he was ultimately sentenced to spend 88 years in prison. Angelina wasn't the only police officer to be shot by a very twisted juvenile, but the next officer was going to take a shot and give several others back. 1100. I shot at suspect. I'm shot. Start medic for me. That happened on December 27th, 2021, when a police officer pulled over a juvenile 
who was actively breaking into a car. Get on the ground! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Hey! Go on the ground, man! I'm about to play with you! I'm not playing, bro! Get on the ground! It seemed the officer wasn't running at full speed and was only trying to keep up with the juvenile to tire him out. But like Angelina, this officer didn't know the suspect was armed and was going to find out a little too late. Get on the and with that turn, the suspect fired once at the officer from a gun hidden in his hoodie pocket. As a result, the officer fell on his knees but surprisingly fired a total of 19 shots. However, this was wasteful as they all missed the suspect. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred, I'm down. Sixty two oh nine Wingdale. Even while bleeding, the officer wanted to go in pursuit, but his injuries got the best of him. Where are you heading? I'm in the trap. Left or right? Left. Luckily, the officer survived the injury with only a wound to the shoulder and a slight bruise to his ego. The murderous juvenile, however, was charged with the attempted murder of a police officer and robbery, fitting punishments for his crimes. But even jail couldn't hold the next criminal youngster, who broke out of a juvenile center after shooting a five-year-old girl in the neck. In 2022, the juvenile was involved in a drive-by shooting where he gunned down a five-year-old girl with a bullet through her neck. It wasn't clear if this was intentional, but he was placed in custody, and only a year later was now caught jumping the fence surrounding the center's recreational yard. Pretty good, but just double check. And let me double check your steps. The juvenile was sent right back to the juvenile center and under high supervision. If you liked this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these even more.